Valley Agriculture taking another hit. The Bureau of Reclamation today announcing most irrigation districts in the Central Valley will have zero water allocations to start the year. Esteban Reynoso joining us in studio with more. Esteban. Well, Stephanie, the first two months of the year are normally the wettest, but this year is already off to a historically dry start, and experts predict tough times ahead for local farmers. Tuesday's rainfall not enough to make a dent in California's drought. I think uh, we can all agree that this will be a difficult year unless we receive substantial rainfall in the coming months. The Central Valley project dictates where federal water goes, and they say this year farmers in the Westlands Water District will not receive any water and must rely on groundwater or other sources. Thus far, January and February, which are two of our wettest months, have been the driest on record. Kristen White of the Bureau of Reclamation says these past two months broke the record set back in 2013 for lowest precipitation. I'd say our storage up in the Shasta and Trinity Reservoirs is lower than it was at this point last year. But now we are without any uh, much precip at all in January and February. We are certainly dropping. Manuel Cunha with the Nisei Farmers League says the allocation is frustrating. That's really disappointing because those are the people, these are the communities, the 47 different towns in this valley that do all of the agricultural work. So when you don't have that allocation, the impact is huge. Local farmer Joe Del Bosque says if things don't change soon, he'll need to find an alternative. When we don't have an adequate water supply, we cut back our crops. You know, we're, we're going to have to cut back somewhere. Last year we cut back. We actually cut out two crops. So there are like about 70 jobs uh, eliminated right there that are not going to come back this year. And the Fry and Water Authority told me they have received 15% from the Central Valley Project. And right now, everyone is hoping for a March miracle. Live in studio, Esteban Reynoso, KC24, Local News That Matters.